It's the best in the in the country pre-game. Gets the fans pumped, players pumped. Even, even it, us in the side. You've got to love pumped. it. You've got to love it. Over to you, Matt Thompson. Good on you, Emma. We're pumped as well. Sunday footy in the Canberra Sun on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Origin around the corner. And it doesn't get much better than this. Here's Joseph Papanak with his first... A carry of the afternoon, the Raiders shooting for four wins in a row. Now Josh Papali'i celebrated game 250 last week with a try. He scored a try in each of his last couple of games. He's a stalwart for Queensland. And he's looking to impress uh, Billy Slater, the Queensland coach, who's with me alongside Phil Gould in commentary this afternoon. Now Whitehead working his way up the ground. Regan Campbell-Gillard and Junior Paulo there. Will they feature for New South Wales in origin? A backhanded pass there from Tupper and now Xavier Savage. who gets his first proper start at fullback in the season. Played 40 minutes off the bench in the fullback role last week. 147 running metres. But he's the excitement machine for Canberra. Another offload there from Josh Papali'i. And they swing it to the left-hand side where Adam Elliott will be tackled by Murata Niakore and Moses there too. Out the back to Whiten and Fogarty with his first involvement. How's that? For a brilliant tackle by Blake jamming in off the wing. Really hit the fullback hard there. Wonga Blake back in the NRL for the first time since the fifth round this season. He's had that knee problem, but on the back of that six again, the Raiders have come... But right up the end of the ground here, within uh, 15 metres of Parramatta's line. It goes through Fogarty. White and tried to tap on. It was all okay. It was backwards. And the Raiders will be able to shape an attacking kick here. It is Fogarty. It'll come down near the goalpost. Oh, it nearly hit the goalpost, actually, but it was a fraction too long. And Dylan Brown has got back there for Parramatta. G'day, Billy. Yeah, just a little bit too much on that kick, but... I'll tell you what, the Canberra Raiders look really dangerous in that opening set. An offload from Josh Papali'i and, and they shifted the ball. So there's uh, Wonga Blake. And you heard earlier in our pre-game, uh, Mike Acevo played in the, the cup match here. His second game back from his knee reconstruction. They get a bye next week. And they'll probably see... Mike Acevo back in the top grade as well. So they've had some injury concerns at the start of this year, but Parramatta getting some of the big guns back now. Uh, Junior Polo gave the pass away there. Murata near Corey played it quickly to Marnie. Now Moses off down a short right-hand side. He got as far as White. And Elliott part of that tackle too. 12 metres out. Brown goes into first receiver. Gutherson chasing off a check part of that too. Ball's tapped oh back and we'll try to, uh, to force an offload over the top there, but it is a Canberra knock on, so there'll be more ball coming for Parramatta. Or will there? Okay, buddy, captain's challenge. We've got a very early challenge. On the field, we have uh, knock on Jordan Rapana into a forward pass off Clint Gutherson. Canberra challenging, mate. Let's see what unfolded. The kick chase has been cleared as onside. Might have hit Lane first. Just seeing if there's any touch by Jordan Rapana. Just watch the left hand of Sean Lane. Oh, it's gone backwards. I don't think Jordan Rapana's touched the football. There is no touch by Jordan Rapana. The ball has gone backwards by Sean Lane. Clint Gutherson gets the ball, and there's an on-field call of a forward pass. The challenge by Canberra is successful. There we go. The Raiders one from one in the challenge department. Darren Lockyer down on the sideline in Canberra. The sun's still shining, Lockyer, but I hope you've got your big jacket for when it goes behind the stand, my friend. Yeah, it's not a good day to be a Queenslander, Tomo. Current temp, 10 degrees. Uh, feels like four. I can vouch for that. You see there, a little bit of a breeze. It's sort of swirling, but it's probably favouring Canberra a touch. That, that top left corner might be an opportunity for a 40-20 for Fogarty later. All yeah, right, let's uh, keep an eye on that. Thanks, Darren. Now, Hudson Young has been in Christian before. Three tries in his last four games, but he's all effort. He's a bit old school, Hudson Young. He likes to inflict damage with the ball in his hand. Now, Elliot playing it. And Josh Papali'i. 
Got an offload away. They're, they're trying to move this football around, aren't they? And they're having some success early. It's Elliot now. That's three offloads for the game already for Canberra. Zach Wolford back for a white and high kick. And Gutherson stationed underneath it. And he takes that safely. Parramatta. They don't travel well to Canberra. They won their first game down there uh, in 15 years last season. There's an offload from the Eels. This is, this is an encouraging start, isn't it? Both teams keen to attack. And Simonson with a one-hander for Upacek. He's up to the halfway. He's got Savage there. He's going to go to Blake, who is a real flyer. But Savage is... Uh, has come to make a second effort with the tackle. Now, Josh Papali, he touched it back. Knock on Canberra. It's a Canberra oh, knock on. No. Knock on Canberra. Well, well this is some start. The they might challenge in. this again. Scrums in the middle. No, maybe not. Haven't we seen some offloads? And we highlighted in the pregame that these two teams are number one and two for offloads in the competition. And they're certainly living up to that, that tag in the opening five minutes. Nice breathtaking attack. So centre field scrum now. They've got Junior Polo on the right hand side standing in the 5 8th position. And Marnie will fire it away to the skillful prop forward. Played 55 games as a Raider himself, you remember, a while back. Now Campbell Gillard bustles his way towards the line. A couple short. Elliott wrapped him up. Marnie skipped away from dummy half. Murata near Corey. Tackled strongly. Whiten and Hudson Young combining. And now Campbell Gillard. Flat to Isaiah Papali. His 100th NRL appearance this afternoon. He's had a wonderful season again. Marnie! Campbell! Oh no! They snatched it before Campbell Gillard got it. Then Gutherson went <laughs> one over the top and missed the target. No this is uh, surely the most frenetic on. opening six minutes of Scrums season middle, 2022. Well, and I had my eyes on Regan Campbell Gillard. Gus, did, did you see that intercept? No, I didn't see it. Oh. Reed Marnie's been very effective close to the line with try assists over the last couple of years, and it looked like he got another one there. Campbell Gillard was about to go into a yawning gap. Oh. Oh. And it's picked off. What a play. That's Jamal Fogarty. There's a bit going on in this opening six and a half minutes. They're not kidding. Now, Marnie goes left off the scrum to Dylan Brown. The Raiders' uh, defence being tested here. Both, both defensive outfits being tested. Campbell Gillard off a Marnie pass. Hudson Young. That's Zach Wolford there. And Josh Papali'i as well. They go right. And Brown and Polo, and it's been put down by Gutherson, and the Raiders can take a little sigh of relief. And here goes Nick Trotrich. Well, there's been no settling down period in this game at all, has there? No priority in completing sets and just getting to your kick. They're, it's like they're both out there in a hurry to get this over. Rapana with a very fast play of the ball, and Savage is the man that can take advantage of that with all his pace. Grabs 10 metres for his team, and they've done well to run themselves out of trouble here. Tapani. Beat Marnie. Can't beat Isaiah Papali'i and Sean Lane. And Zach Wolford. Now Josh Papali'i. Oh, he steamrolled over them. Isaiah Papali'i. Uh, Got left behind there. Thankfully, he's got to his feet quickly. And now Tapane on the last here. Zach Wolford. And a high one for Fogarty. Whiten's after this. He nearly took it, Jack Whiten. The Raiders fans are suggesting maybe Parramatta have touched this. It looked in real time that it might have touched Whiten, and the referee agrees. Well, Jack Whiten's tried to sell it by saying he didn't get a touch. Nothing. He's celebrating and taking high fives. Okay. And he, he went straight to the referee and said, I didn't touch this. I think he's more than selling it. The camera he, he knows if he touches it on side. Just well, he could be a fibber. Now. He doesn't take me as a fibber. No. He's right. I don't think he's touched this ball. Just looking if there's any contact from Jack Wadden. 
It's his old teammate Simonson in the contest with him there. I think it's the forearm of Bailey Simonson. You see the right forearm of Simonson just get between the ball and Jack yeah. Whiten. Yeah. And the there reaction is no of knock Jack on Whiten. by Jack Whiten. We're playing on at this stage. Yeah. It'll be a try. The reaction of Jack Whiten certainly indicated that he didn't, didn't touch the football. Sebastian Chris. Right place, right the ball time. Was by Canberra. We have a decision. Well, it's amazing what happens if you chase and compete for your kicks. And they're just handing the ball back to the opposition. The Raiders compete for this one. And they've come up with the first try of the game. Yeah, there's nothing better than halves supporting halves. Izuzu D Max replay. And Fogey, well, first game in the Canberra Raiders colours. And Jack Whiten supports him. That's a big play. Sebastian Chris. He gets the try. Down to you, Lockie. You know, Fogarty got his weight a little bit wrong there with his first kick, but the second kick was spot on. Even if they did take it then, Parramatta, the Raiders would have forced a, a drop out, but they get two points. They get a try out of this with Sebastian Chris. He's, uh, he scored one last week, gets another one early today. <laughs> of course, he's in there, Sebastian Chris, because Jared Croker. Unfortunately, has suffered that that bizarre shoulder injury, but that hasn't stopped their progress early here. What a what a brilliant opening period. Mm. Well, he's just a competitor, Jack Whiten, isn't he? He'll fight for everything. Jamal Fogarty doing the goal kicking work. Some entertainment for you on uh, Sunday footy. The Raiders with the early start here. And Josh Papali'i hoping to add to his 20 origins in the Maroons. Uh, it's, a, it's a mini origin preview, perhaps. Papali'i versus Polo. Almost double the meterage for Canberra. Inside the first 10 here. Zach Wilford. And again, Josh Papali'i. Well, everyone keeps pointing to the Raiders' improved form of late. But there's no secret to it. They're just doing the little things well, and they're competing on every play. Everyone wants to make a contribution. That wasn't happening earlier in the year. When you start to do that for 80 minutes, you make yourself hard to beat. Whiten with the skyscraping kick, and Gutherson takes it well. Well, there's... Uh, Another illustration of that effort with Elliott down there along with Hudson Young. So Parramatta, who are yet to win back-to-back -back games since round five, find themselves chasing an early Canberra try and a penalty will assist there. Brilliant Sunday crowd in. They've braved the cooler weather, but it's always warmer when you're in front on the scoreboard. Love their Sunday footy down here. Great side. Wonderful stadium. On and Gunnamore Land, GIO Stadium. Home to the Raiders, and they like what they're seeing over the last month as Gutherson joins into the back line. But Chris, the first try scorer, and Whiten bring him to ground six metres over the halfway line. Here's Murata near Corey. Elliot there, and Young as well. Now Isaiah Papali'i. He was one of the Dally M back rowers of the year last year, and he's got 44 tackle breaks and five tries in this season. He's going even better than he was in 2021. Now Marnie. And they get to the final play, and it's Moses. 
sends it up for his outside man, Simonson, who takes the catch and then over the top, and it's taken a hand, and it's going to be a try to Will Penasini. Yeah, another try from a kick, this time for Parramatta. And again, just competing for the ball. Will Penasini comes up with a four-pointer. Izuzu oh, D-Max replay. Mitchell Moses just put, puts it nice and high. And then it's Simonson. This time he comes up with it at the right end of the field. Will Penasini, he gets the tap back and Parramatta are back in this one. Yeah, there are a number of Raiders players when the ball was kicked past them, they just stopped. You stopped and they weren't in position to pick up the next ball runner. A lot of forwards there, very lazy in the middle of the field when the ball went away from them. Panasini is the, the benefit of that. But a nice hit back from the Eels, Darren Lockyer. You know, the kick from Moses probably wasn't exactly where he wanted it. sort of landed a bit short and that, that's what made the, the Canberra Raiders balk going in. He thought, well, I'll let, I'll let Parramatta have it. And they made him pay. And Will Penasini burst onto the scene towards the back end of last year and was one of the, the standouts for them heading into the final series, of course. So, Moses, how about that performance last week? Kick the sideline conversion for the, the Eels just to get over Manly, and it's six all now. Hovering above Canberra's GIO Stadium. Six points all. Glorious sunshine. And the final match here in Indigenous Round for season 2022. One of two played this afternoon as Gutherson and sends Junior Polo running back. Well, they were crammed in like sardines at Belmore Sports Ground. And they got a, a, a very competitive effort out of Canterbury who looks but they were in real trouble at half time and they got right back into the game. It was just a late try for the Dragons for them to get home 34 to 24. A high scorer. Here's Isaiah Papali'i with a pass to Brown. Marnie for Blake. Driven to the ground by Elliott. Season for the Raiders. Now Moses, plenty of hang time on this one, and it's taken well by Nick Chotrich. And he's almost half through a gap there. Penasini and Simonson leading the kick chase. It's been a remarkable reversal in Canberra's form, and just to illustrate what Gus was just saying there about how they've turned things around, they had lost five games in a row. And then they lost Jack White to suspension, you'll remember. Everyone thought, well, this season might be about to go pear shaped for Canberra, but they, they won the games without White, and then he came back into the team. And uh, they've gone bang, bang, bang since and really found their form. Yeah, it just goes to show that it's a simple game when everyone's doing their job. And Canberra, Canberra have done that over the last three weeks. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, through their aggression, too, through the middle of the field, Tarpanay. Papali'i have, have led that. And then Young and, and Whitehead, Elliot, have jumped off the back of it. And they're in a good place at the moment, Canberra. Campbell Gillard. Oh! Just picked up and put down gently. Jeez, been in everything. Josh Papali'i in the first 15 minutes. He's having two carries a seven. And tackling everything in the middle, and they're Corey. Play back to Marnie. Ah, set restart tackle four. Polo. Let's go, Zach, get up. 
That's the 20 metre line you can see. That's Elliott, the last man off the tackle. Marty, nice ball there. Brown and Lane got it away for Papali. More offloading coming here. Moses station on the right. A floating pass for Simonson. You saw Zach Wolford. He said it was forward. The touch judge was right in line. And didn't intervene. Isaiah Papali'i, 10 metres out. Here's Moses. Here's Dylan Brown. Brown steps past all of them. What a try. Oh, they came up with nothing, the defenders. And Dylan Brown, one of the, the, the best running number sixes of the season this year. He skinned them. Yeah, you, you underestimate this young fella at your peril. He doesn't look overly big statue-wise, but not only has he got footwork, he's got power. He can really hit when he runs the ball. By Suzu D Max replay there, it's not only the footwork here, but the power to push off the defender in front of him. Hasn't got much room to move. Dummy, little left foot step, bang, power. That's a front rower. He's just pushed off there. And then muscles his way into the in goal. Yeah, he attacks space really well, Dylan Brown. He just goes to the inside shoulder of Papali'i and then bounces to his outside shoulder. Lockie. Well, I heard the noise from here when he hit Papali'i and pushed him off. I, I was surprised when he when he you know he put, uh, when he came across like that. Just left foot, left foot. He's so good on that left foot. And Papali'i was just a little bit sideways, but yeah, he he come reeling out of that. So good hit back, good hit back by the Eels. I think they're just looking at this actually. Our referee hasn't hasn't ticked off on it. Moses has got the ball set for the conversion. Oh, was there a lead runner on the inside? OK, the try's still under review. We're doing a possible obstruction in okay. the lead up. So we're looking at the space inside. Just watch Paul We're just o. looking at any possible obstruction oh. on Joseph Tarpany. He grabbed it. Well, I think Tarpany has initiated that contact, if anything. Oh. We acknowledge the contact on the inside, however, Joseph Tarpany has another option not to make contact with yeah. uh, Junior Polo. We're playing on at this stage. I think that's a fair call. Yeah, go to the top of the class, Mr. Bunker. And the ball is grounded. We have a decision. Who's the bunker official? Matt Noyan. Go to the top of the class. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. My opinion was like, try live. They've reviewed it and they've, they've confirmed that, Elliot. So it's all going to do, mate. Yeah, there was certainly contact made, but I think it was mutual contact. So Moses, stellar effort last week. He might have picked up three points in the deli in, actually. In a match-winning performance, there's the conversion. Okay, Josh Papali'i is coming to the sideline. HIA, we're told, and we yeah. just had a head clash there with Brown. So one thing I'm worried about with the Raiders is they tend to be sitting back on their heels a bit in defence, allowing the Eels to come to them. I don't think the Eels have hit their stride yet, but they're playing with fire if they don't move up on the Eels and cut down their thinking time. Eight. It's high quality incompletions, isn't it? Just one incomplete set in the match so far. And when you consider the ball movement, that's a really, um, really positive reflection on, on both teams at the moment. Lane with an inside pass here. And uh, he's been knocked over in the tackle. Papali'i with Fogarty and Elliott involved. Now, Marty. Skip down the left. And Moses goes airborne. 
He's kicked this in no man's land. Savage with a wonderful run and leap to defuse a very dangerous kick by Mitchell Moses. Darren Lockyer with a special guest. Yeah, Chan's nickel cook star. You just saw you clap then when Xavier took that football. He's going all right. Yeah, no, he's going really well. He's doing a lot of the basics right and he's doing really well for the team today. The Raiders have turned their season around the last month. What do you put that down to? I think just a little um, little things going going our way out there on the games and uh, focusing on the things that we can control and that starts at training. So a lot uh, a lot of focus around our training sessions and it's been going really well for us. Speaking about training, uh, how's the hamstring? When, when do you think you'll be back full training? Yeah, hamstring's going pretty well, thank you. Um, did a little bit of jogging in that yesterday, so that was uh, post one week and uh, looking forward to building and hopefully getting back a little bit before six weeks. All right, mate. Thanks for your time and good luck this afternoon. No, nah, cheers. Thank you. That's a chance, Nick, of the start with Darren Lockyer there, that they've had injuries, but they've had injuries to key position players, which is, has been a, a huge issue for Ricky Stewart. Of course, we see Fogarty here this afternoon in his first game, and we're, we're almost halfway through the season, the, the prize off-season signing at halfback. So, Elliot, 21 metres out, ball played here to Wolford. Tapané, gridiron-style pass back to Wolford. And Timiko and the Rapana! He looked destined to score. They might get one from dummy half. They have. It's Elliot Whitehead. Quick thinking. They did a great job to stop Jordan Rapiner on that left-hand side. It was, it was Gutherson that got across there. And I don't think they knew he played the ball. He played the ball nice and fast. Izuzu D-Max replay. Here it is. It was a nice offload by Tarpana. Back to Wolford, and then they get it out to this right edge. Beautiful hands here by Timika. And then Rapiner just gets down nice and low, gets up, plays the ball. And Whitehead, well, he's a footballer. Great thinking. Well, that's something like the Discovery Channel. You know, you see the nice calm waters and the, the animals having a drink of water. And all of a sudden, the crocodile goes bang, <laughs> and it's all over. They were just standing around there like they were having a drink at the pond. I was wondering where you were heading with that. Yeah, well, they're just standing there, and all of a sudden, the crocodile, Whitehead, Big looms crocodile. out and scores a try. <laughs> you look at them, they just they didn't have a care in the world. They were just standing there Sunday afternoon, Darren Lockyer. Just don't think they were expecting him to play it so quick. He's a, he's a try scorer here. You see the offload. Well, some, the cameraman's. Uh, He's feeling the Carl too. Yeah, the crocodile's got yes. the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> Crocodiles have got him everywhere. <laughs> Don't go near the water. I'm a bit worried about Darren Lockyer down on that sideline. <laughs> I saw the gloves on him. Can we get a little fire going for Lockie, please? Yeah. Uh, you know I love a fire, Bill. He, he's used to scoring those tries, Rappanar, but uh, Whitehead goes, well, I'll do it for you, mate. So, well done. A hot chocolate for Darren Lockyer, please, someone. It's some sort of play the ball, just the same. Huh? They had no idea of the pending danger. Gee, I was worried when you started to go down to the Discovery Channel path. Bogarty. Ah, yes. Lovely kick. Going better than a point a minute at the moment. Highly entertaining Sunday afternoon footy fixture. And here's the big red, Corey Horsburgh. Tuppany playing it to within 25 of the halfway now. Hudson Young. Score out quickly. Penasini helping. Moses part of that too. Here's Horsburgh again. Is that cameraman recovered down there? Is he okay? Uh, we'll, we'll have to get a we'll have to get a sideline update on the cameraman. More importantly, is the camera okay? Because it costs a lot more. Oh, 
she goes. And Gutherson for Wonga Blake. And now Simonson shrugs off some defence there. That's really well done from the winger. So they're starting to get some experience back into their outside men. You see Wonga Blake back into the team today. This is Michael Sebo who played his second game of reserve grade this weekend. So you wouldn't think he'd be far away. He scored two tries last week. I think, uh, I'm not sure if he scored one today. Emma might be able to tell us. I know she had a go, an eye on that game earlier. Has it been... Uh, We've missed the Sebo champ from well, a Parramatta fan, certainly have anyway. He's savage. We can move this kid. Young boy from Cairns. He's done a couple of really nice things. Charles Nickel Cookster alluded to. He caught a nice high ball and played really safe at the start of the game when I think it was one of Blake that jammed on him. He held the ball and took the tackle. His coach Ricky Stewart will be really pleased with those efforts. Mike Acevo did score a try this afternoon, just yeah. before half time. In his reserve grade game. Whiten. Oh, Gutherson did well there. Running back with the ball and. And runs it back out near his 20. So Jack White and one of those Canberra players hoping that he might be heading into a region camp. He's played nine games for New South Wales. If the headlines are anything to go by, it's he or Nico Hines on the bench for New South Wales. It'll probably come down to coverage of things like hooker and halfback. Oh, turned it over. Yep. As to whether Nico Hines covers more options for them. You know, Jack White can cover all the outside backs and even into the forwards, but what happens if a hooker goes down? What happens if a half goes down early in the game? Don't get much out of the points up, coach. There's no really. Forsbrook. He's become very boring, Billy. Oh, no. Used to be effervescent, full of life, have a joke with you. <laughs> No, he's just got that Queensland head on. All Queenslanders are like that this time of year. Off goes their head, on goes a punk. It's football. June 8, Origin 1. You still haven't baited him. He's just writing it down in a note. Oh, Whitehead with a, a catch and kick over the back. Folks on the footy here this afternoon, fellas. Coach speak. He's become a coach now. Lost all his fun. You have to get a rinse through his hair after three origin games. Can't wait for his first press conference. Ah, uh, Brown, Brown again. Brown's carving them up here. Wow, what another great run. He's a player. <laughs> Moses with an inside pass to Penasini. Oh, wow. That was cool. He made a tackle and did that. He got sent off. Yeah. Well, it's so so sick here, but it's a dangerous throw on the ball carrier. Here's uh, Oregon Kafusi on the field now. Marnie. And Regan Campbell Gillard. Is he uh, edging close to a Blues jumper? Marnie now. Away to Isaiah Papali'i. Tackle four. Marnie. Back to Brown. Plays uh, behind Madison, Moses, Gutherson, beautiful football. Gee, that's slick. That's great Parramatta play. Yeah, it was good play until the fullback got the ball in and out of his hands in an inkling. You'll have to check to see if there's even fingerprints on this ball. I Suzu D-Max for a replay. Here's the initial bust by Brown again, pulling through defenders. Has he just got great footwork and speed? He's strong. And then the ball will filter out to the edge. It looked like the Raiders had them. Oh, here is. Dangerous throw. Shows that accidents happen. Watch this. Slow pass. Slow pass. 
slow pass, bang, bang. In and out of his hands in an instant. Created space for Simonson on the outside. Well, the Raiders did really well to recover from the Dylan Brown break, but it was just the class to class to class. That's what got the try. Brown to Moses to Gutherson. And the class of the passing. He's got the ball out to the edge. And that man picks up his second. You see that, six to seven to one. Parramatta probably do it the more teams. Six to seven to one. Some teams just don't do it. But all the playmakers on the one side of the field, bang, bang, bang. Look at that beautiful, caught the ball early, got it across his body. Gives his wingman plenty of space. If you're at home, don't panic. It Simonson. was Simonson. I <laughs> thought we were seeing things. Bailey Simonson, the try scorer. Graphic man got me. Mm. Maybe the cameraman and the doing the graphics as well. I've been sabotaged all day. All day. Why? Oh, you, you missed the play. Yeah. And it was delayed. It's origin time, baby. Yeah. This is all deliberate, you know. He's missed it. I think your day's being sabotaged so far. Billy, you what you see a higher car outside, what Gus has done to it. <laughs> Emma, breaking news. Yes, good news for the Raiders, Matt. Josh Papali'i has passed that HIA. He's just on the bench at the moment, but we'll be back into the action. OK, thanks, Emma. Appreciate that. Now, Makatoa. Help me! Fine. Akisi Makatoa, one of the mature-age debutantes from last season. And sure he's played every game this year the Brad Arthur's men now here's a man that has been in rare form Ryan Madison in his last six games he's run for over 1,000 meters combined good shot Elliot he's been close to origin selection before Ryan Madison now Marnie he's a a 40-20 sneak, and oh, he nearly did it again. Savage got across. Well, he didn't deserve that bounce. Reed Marnie, he's got a great kicking game out of dummy half. He pulls the trigger on a 40-20 opportunity here. And just watch this bounce. Wow. The rugby league gods weren't with Reed right there. Rapana now. 20 runs for 160 metres last week against South Sydney. His best return of the year, Jordan Rapana. Played uh, up near the halfway. That was Sutton who's on the ground now. And Horsburgh will uh, take a run on tackle number five. Here's Whiten. Rolls it through. Oh, there's a contact with the ball. He had to, he had to be very cool there, Clint Gutherson, and he was. Yeah, it was good weight. He could have kicked it deeper, but... He wanted to make a contest of it. They're tough balls to pick up. Coming forward to the defensive line. We don't see enough of that variety of kick, Billy, do we? I mean, you're talking as a fullback. They're the hard ones to get, aren't they? Well, everyone plays conservative and kicks to the corner and plays the field position game. These oh. two teams know. Oh, hang on. He might have been pulled off the ball there, Rapina. He was. Brown's gone through. Oh, late call. Late call. So I'm going to say the Raiders, they should let him score and get a review. But the bunker had enough time to look at it. Well, I was just about to say, and they're going to have a look at this one. OK, Matty. On field, we have a penalty against Parramatta for holding back Jordan Ruffiner, trying to retrieve the ball. Parramatta challenges. Well, I think it's a penalty. Well, he looked like he'd taken the intercept. You'll get a flick up here. And then he's tackled before he gets the ball. Jordan Rapana knocks the ball forward. Tom Okvacek grabs Jordan Rapana. This doesn't allow Jordan Rapana to negate the knock on. The decision on 
the challenge is unsuccessful. Mind you, Opacek doesn't know that Rapana doesn't have the ball. I understand Jordan's knocked on, okay? Yeah. But he still has the right to negate the knock-on and try and catch it. That's what your bikes are him to do. But it's like a tackle. He's, he's bouncing it. Why can't we tackle it? Yeah, all right, we know what the call is going to be here. He has the right to try and, and get uh, it back, okay? Yeah, so I think the ball was far ball enough away from Rapana. It's the same yeah, rule. Mate, it's exactly the no, same rule. Look, it is the same rule, Todd. I've made the decision. I understand what Clint Gutherson's trying to argue, but he's not going to win that one, I don't think. Well, he's, he's arguing with a referee that already went his way. The referee ruled it was OK. It was the bunker that came in and ruled that he, he has to run up the stairs and see the bunker. Well, no, he's got to run to Redfern to see the bunker. Another chance for Canberra to hit back now. Papali'i back out there after HIA. Now Horsburgh. Now Kore and Marnie, the defenders. Here he is again, Big Papa. This has been an absorbing game. Wolf at the dummy half, White in the first receiver, Fogarty the second, Savage the speed machine. Couldn't exploit a little gap there, Brown and Opacek combined to bring him to ground. Tackle number four, Fogarty across the ground, dumps one to Horsburgh. Three metres out. Nakatoa there to wrap him up. Last play. Wolford and Whiten and Fogarty and Chotrich. He's going to come back in field and Fogarty gets back there. Oh, that was forward. Yeah, uh, it was an inside out pass. Well, they were desperate to throw the second kick over the top. <laughs> in fact, they've done that. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, Xavier Savage's celebration, which I'm, he's been working on in anticipation for Indigenous round, is uh, going to be null and void. He wasted it. He wasted it. Would have been beautiful to see him score it. It was a deadly try. Yeah. yeah. Through, bang, up he goes. Here you go, here you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quick. Quick. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> How good is it seeing young players smile? Having fun. Madison now. There's not much in this, is there? Both sides have got the ability to score out of nothing. Out to Moses on the right-hand edge. Penasini. Chris, lovely tackle around the boot laces there. Moses short side, a dummy. That was ambitious. Yeah. Only had a metre in which to work there. Clint Gutherson, oh, Jesus, what that? That stayed up in the air forever. And that's uh, that's the second high-class catch of the opening half for young Xavier Savage. He, he gives away a size of more height advantage anyway. The earlier aerial contest was dangerous, and he did brilliantly to take that one too. That was a difficult one. That was the equivalent to the on-the-ground one down the other end of the field, but that was up in the air, that was swirling, floating. He, took, he didn't take his eyes off the football and coming forward to the defence. He did well. Horsburgh for Young. Moses gets him one on one. Now Jack Whiten. He'll return serve with a high ball. Oh, oh. no! Gutherson's dropped the try to Canberra! Ah, oh, now you can celebrate, said Chris. Well. It was a really good kick because Whiten didn't, he was on a very short blind side there and he kicked it straight down the line. So the accuracy was great. But with no, no chases, I see the D-Rex replay. Gutherson has just dropped it cold. Look at that. He'd catch a thousand of those a week. And it's landed right in the path of Chris. Yeah, it comes up with a leveller. Ideally, you want to be moving forward to the ball, not moving back away from it. And you just see him, his momentum's going away from the ball. It just slips straight through the bread basket. And Sebastian Chris, well, he puts himself in the picture. Billy, do you really think he was he was thinking about maybe a 20-metre tap here if I could get it in goal? He was, he was kind of like wondering where his feet were under the ball. Yeah. 
you don't need much to creep into your mind for things to go wrong when the ball's in the air. Down to you, Lockie. Yeah, well, maybe that short kick earlier from Jack White might have been in Gutherson's mind. He might have been a bit too far forward and must maybe a little bit of breeze at the last minute there and he's misjudged it. And Maybe he was thinking getting his feet back behind the line, but in any event, it, it hasn't worked out for him. Sebastian Chris gets another one. Yeah, you just see in that replay, you see where the ball contacts his jersey, and it's not on his chest, it's, it's actually on his stomach. Mm. Ideally, you want to use your chest as the backboard, and that's the first point of contact. Well, it looked like there was a thousand things going through his mind other than just catching the ball. He was trying to get his feet back planted behind the dead ball and he half tripped a little bit with the last stride. Wondering how close to the to the in goal he was. As I say, catch a thousand a week of those. He doesn't get many of them wrong. It'd be a lonely old feeling, I would imagine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not that you felt it all that much, Billy. Three minutes until half time and the Raiders are gonna poke their bibs in front. I'd imagine once is enough, isn't it, Billy? Yep. game 18 16 big crowd in Canberra and they're boisterous as well they get fired up from the start don't they with the Viking clap we had the uh, indigenous pregame ceremony as well so it's been quite the afternoon and the Raiders uh, the Raiders continuing in their fine form and how good is Josh Papali'i been and the lights start to take effect sun going down and we're now under 10 degrees there, I think, at the moment. Although Darren might have a better update. Feels like two. And Darren's jaw's frozen. Darren's more more con conscious of what it feels like rather than what the actual degrees were. Yeah, two. <laughs> Another one for Whiten. Now, let's... I uh, know Gutherson uh, is going to let the winger catch this one. Simon said, oh, he's busted a tackle. And Chris stopped him there with an ankle tap. I was just going to say, Billy, I'd, you'd, I'd imagine you drop one at the back. Are you, are you eager for the next one? Do you want to get that out of your mind? Or are you happy to not, not be in the firing line again? You, you want another one really early. Yeah. You want to take it too, just quietly. Yeah, you don't want to drop it. He's so steadfast at the back there, Gutherson. That's very much the exception for him now. Makatoa. Moses loves playing those little short sides, and he went there to Nico, uh, near Corey. And the halfback steps up to uh, stick one up in the air there. It was, a, it was a shallow kick, but Savage. Oh, he had the ball knocked out. Play on. Oh, it was play on. First knock on Canberra. Canberra first knock on. So we'll have just under a minute left and a final chance of the opening half for Parramatta. Yeah, this is a part of... Xavier Savage's game that he just needs to clean up a little bit. Just holds that ball out in one hand. Okay, when he gets off. to the contact, he needs to bring it in nice and close. Be a bit more cautious in, with the football. Yeah, that's that's the schoolboy stuff. Okay, it's, coming, get up. Down, it's the NRL. It's not Wednesday night. I was tagged. Dylan Brown. It's slow up there, and he's he's gone over too. He's in a bit of strife here in back play, Dylan Brown. Has he had ankle problems in the past? Yes. Away to a charging Papali'i now. It takes four Raiders to stop him. That's where he's more dangerous, out on the edge of the field. That's where he's played all year on the edge. At, given a job in the middle to start the game this afternoon. Moses, quick hands, chance here. Uh, Gutherson went away from that left-hand side and came back to the middle where Madison was waiting. 
And then a one-headed pass for Marnie, who gives it to Lane, who goes to Tom Opacek, who's tackled really well there by Whitehead. Last play of the half here. Marnie Gutherson, he's going to roll one through. It's off a, a leg there of Canberra. They're going to score here. The ball goes out wide. Oh, it went behind Simonson. They needed one good pass and he was over. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. One good pass. That was all that was needed. One good pass. Take your time. Take your time. Draw and pass. Draw and pass. Oh. And he threw it into the crowd. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's a let off for the Raiders. Well, that is uh, one of the most enjoyable halves of footy we've been treated to here on nine all season. Still got a half to go. Canberra 18, Paris 16 in Sunday footy from GIO Stadium. The Blues all gathering in camp and Billy's got to get his boys together tomorrow. They will get into camp tomorrow. The team will be selected tonight and announced tomorrow morning. So looking forward to it. We're all looking forward to it. It's going to be a cracking series. They always are, but we just we fancy this year with the, with the way the teams match up. It's, there's going to be nothing in this. Well, Billy, we've seen an attacking shootout, three tries each. What's the priority here? Oh, I think the team that puts a value on defence will probably go on to win, but which team, which of these two teams is likely to do that? Yeah. From what we saw in the first half, I don't know if they know that way. Um, the field position is also vital. You're turning the ball over in good field position, getting to your kick and making them come out of the corners. And if you're a Canberra Raiders fan, I wouldn't be too comfortable with the lead at half time. In the last 17 times, the Raiders have gone to the break in front. They've won eight and lost nine. So still a job ahead of the Raiders here. Okay, Xavier Savage has uh, got a little issue there in back play. Darren, down to you. Yeah, just, just adding to that, I, I think it's it's about the, the defensive intensity when they, after a kick, that both teams in the first half just got out of their, out of their end too easy. So the team that can really turn the screws on their defence. Here, here oh, here good Raiders. ball, good ball indeed. Sutton with a pass away, Fogarty there. And Timoko up against Brown, great tackle from the 5'8". But it's still on for the Raiders, wrap it up. Fogarty has a look up, tries to dink it to the end goal, but Reed Marnie. Offside. Oh, they were offside. Oh, what well, he saved a try anyway, didn't he? What a beautiful pass by Josh Papali. He, he's got he's got real soft hands for a big man. They're going to take the two. Brett White sig signalling to to take the two. Mm. Now this was You're going for goal. This was pretty to watch. 18-16, the Raiders ahead. So the Raiders uh, are happy to take the two here, Billy. Yeah, it was a nice pass by Papali'i. Oh. And then Fogarty gets the ball. Tomoko, oh. he takes the tackle, comes awfully close to the touchline. And then they catch the Eels offside. And Fogarty, he gets the opportunity to put his Raiders four points clear. He's enjoying his first game back in the NRL, Jamal Fogarty. He sneaks that one inside.
So a four-point gap now for the Raiders. And Hawes were up. And he's going to roll back. That's Parramatta's big man now from the kickoff. And Dylan Brown's feeling that ankle. He came out of that collision with Timoko. Somewhat ginger as well. Great tackle. Good desperation to get over there. And you can just see there a oh, grimace on the face. It's an interesting decision to kick for goal when you're two in front. You make it four in front, but it does take the penalty goal out of the equation for your opponent. So if you lead 18-16 and you get penalised near your post, then they square up. But now they probably won't take the kick for goal because they need to try to get back on the board. So that gives you a little penalty up your sleeve if you want to slow them down. So oh, oh, it just bobbled there. Simonson grabbed it before it could pop out. Coaches and captains talk about leads and penalty kicks at goal all the time and what it means. It just it puts the Eels beyond a penalty goal now. He's won the Blake now. And Lane straight and hard. Sutton and Wolford combining. Now Ryan Madison, they're saying uh, he'll be heading to Origin Camp tonight. He's been around the periphery of that Origin squad for a while and um, it would appear that he might be going to make a debut on Wednesday week. Well, it's timely because he's off contract. <laughs> he's been shopped around pretty heavily at the moment. That's a, a nice little bonus for him this weekend if he gets picked. Yeah. Very versatile player, can play left or right edge, can play in the middle. He's done really well coming off the bench for them in the last few weeks. Just as a workhorse around the middle. Mm. Mm. Nicely, nicely milked. Nicely milked. He's a smart player, Zach Wolford. That's, isn't he? 25 years of age. Debuted uh, back in Magic Round. Of course, son of Simon. Uh, a stalwart of the Canberra club. He's got three try assists in his first uh, couple of games before this afternoon, but he's actually the fourth choice hooker down in Canberra. Hodgson gone for the season. Um, there was, uh, they've got Starling off the bench, of course, and Trevelyan was the other one. He actually came from outside the top 30 to crack it for the starting number nine jumper. Well, some blokes go up and never come back. Mm. It's his now. Mm. He's making a fist of it. He doesn't care where he started. No. There he is again. Ooh. Horsburgh ran onto one. Right on the advantage line there. Wrapped up by Marnie. Very similar to his father, isn't he? It's got the same dummy half pass. Savage. Oh, might have saved one there. Wonga Blake stretched out That's and knocked it down. There was a real chance for the Raiders. Yeah, it makes it hard for wingers. Okay, shot clock on. When defences just paddle like middle. that, they just sit back, sit. Look at that. They don't attempt to move up. They move. They just stand there, stand there, and then the wingers caught in two minds whether to come in, stay out, or as Wonga decided there to get his hand to the ball because that saves the try. Full stretch. Yeah. Big play. Mm. He just knew that unless he, he touched that ball, they were going to score. And it might only need to delay the inevitable here with a centre field scrum. Yeah, just watch Whiten and Savage work together here. Whiten targets Moses there. Now Cora comes in. And, uh, and Moses there to help as well. Gee, another try here for Canberra would be very handy just after half time. And Young is put down right underneath the black dot there. Big Horsburgh. Lane with a good first contact. Madison there too. And they're causing some problems for the Eels here. Fogarty, one of the Eels has been knocked over. The ball's being dropped anyway by Chotrich. Yeah, well, there's nothing on here. And if there's nothing on and the defence is sliding away from you, you should just dummy, dig in and take your knock. There's nothing on offer here. They've got him covered. So he goes for the absolute and... Puts too much pressure on his winger. 
The Eels get a couple of let offs there. Turn any action up for Canberra's end of the field since the break. Now, Nathan Brown. First time we've seen him in the contest. It's quickly to Darren Lockyer. Is there any breeze there or has the sun gone down and everything pretty still? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty still, Gus. It, it, it swirls around. So we've seen in the first half that you, you get the kick in the right position, um, you, you might be able to make something of it. And that held Penasini up here. They tried to shove him, but he finds the turf under the tackle of Chris and Whiten. It's a bad position to be on tackle five. Yeah. You had to rush that then, one noses. Yeah, not great for a right foot kicker. You've got the pressure coming at your kicking leg. Well, that's your responsibility too, particularly as a halfback, to get in a position on tackle four and five. So you're not under pressure when you come to your kick. Well, this is where Parramatta need to match the energy of the Canberra defensive line. Canberra really enthusiastic with their defence. It's Parramatta's turn. Almost smack bang in the middle of GIO Stadium, Nick Totrich. Josh Papali'i. Oh, great weight offload. Fogarty was there waiting for it. I think they wanted six again there. They were faithful. They didn't get one. Whiten this will come down close enough to the goal line. Simonson with a comfortable catch. Oh, good kick return, actually. He raced around the outside of Sutton, gets back to his own 10. Josh Papali'i now. He's played... Uh, he was off for a little bit in the first half there, wasn't he? Because of HIA, 121 running metres. 50 of those post contact 11 runs so far. Oh, nearly, uh, nearly mucked that one up. Yeah, well, they're put, putting no punch into their go forward. They're just <laughs> flopping around here with the ball at their own end of the field. Sorry, Billy. I was just going to say, Canberra have got eight offloads to their team. I, I reckon Josh Papali, he's got five of them. Yeah. But they're not putting any importance here on how they march the ball forward. That comes Rapana and just dodges the uh, aggressive tackle there of Nir Kore. Well, he puts a value on every metre he makes. Rapana. You'd love three or four of him. There you go. Papali'i, four offloads. Oh, he uh, just squeezed that one in there. Savage. And Chotrich again. for Horsburgh. Whiten's going to kick here on four. The winger wasn't back there. He wants this to run to the end goal. Gutherson gets down low. Whiten with a great kick chase. That's a big play. That's a big play by Jack Whiten. He saw an opportunity and some space in the corner. Said, Clint, you go back and I'm going to tackle you in the corner. Well, if you're the Raiders, you're thinking, if we just keep doing that, this other side's not going to come up with anything because... They haven't looked like getting out of their own end of the field. Now there's a run in anger. That's Polo with a, a full tank of fuel after a break. Now Madison. Get up. Big Junior. Nothing Junior about him. Out the back, Brown. Oh, that was a traceable look like a tip by Rapino, but he came up with nothing, and now Blake... Tries to scamper down the touchline. Ball back to Brown. Rapid has come from 50 metres off and tackle him. Well, that was the only way they were going to get out of their own end. Moses has a look. Shapes the kick with the last tackle. Polo's got it now. Flicks it out the back like a squash ball. Yes, the Parramatta Eels with a wonderful try. And Polo, that ball was unbelievable. Well, watch Mitchell Moses here, because after passing the ball the first time, he gets knocked down. But rather than stay down and play for the penalty, 
he gets himself up and back into the action. They were going nowhere on their own line. I see Sue D-Max replay. This man, Brown, again, bouncing off tackles. Gets into the backfield. Links up with Blake. Didn't have the room to move. Gets back inside. But it's on the next sequence of passing. Watch Mitchell Moses here. He'll come across the field. There's not much on. He'll turn it back inside and gets belted. Bang, down he goes. Could have played for the penalty. Bounces up. Gets the ball. Next thing, he's got a try assist to Simonson over in the corner. That's brilliant work there from Moses. Tough stuff. Don't play for the penalty. Get up and get involved in the game. We're deadlocked. 20 apiece. And Moses with a chance to put the Eels ahead. Two for Simonson against his old club, Darren Lockyer. Oh, great play by the Eels. The ball from Paolo, that was incredible. It was sort of... You see it here, it's all that blip. He knows it's the last tackle, but look where he, it's a one-handed pass out in the back. He gets it out in front of Moses, and Moses can come onto the ball. If it wasn't inch perfect, that pass, Moses doesn't create the overlap. And Simonson, well, how many times do we see that? A winger in midair. Well done, Parramatta. And Moses, big kick here. History might be repeating. It was 20 all last week against... Manly, and I reckon he's got this in the exact same spot. Yeah, right. Echo Lockie's thoughts there. That was a beautiful pass. It's hard to do with two hands, let alone one out the back. This is a big kick. Mitchell Moses. That's the assignment. Oh, yes. He can do it all. June 8, game one in Sydney, New South Wales v Queensland as Moses puts Parramatta ahead by a couple. Stay on here, boys. <laughs> Brilliant work by Brown out of the backfield. They were going nowhere, the Eels. Just that strength again. Took the collision from Rapanu and came out the other side. It's had a game, hasn't it? He? He's got such balance and strength when he runs the ball. Good work by Moses, too. I hate those players that lay down when they get a bit of a knock or a push. Madison, two runs in two plays. Moses near Corey. Now they've got a bit of purpose about their work. Yeah, all of a sudden over the halfway in four plays. Haven't done that all the second half. It's Paramount to knock on. You can hear the six to go calls. Yeah, I'm assuming that's the Parramatta players that were yelling that out. Scrums in the middle. I thought so, mate. Run the shot clock. Yeah, just Jack White and got it reached around and knocked the arm down. Yeah, it's a real art. Hit the arm, not the ball. Tom Starling. You know he's a dynamite runner. Coming uh, into the game almost near the final quarter of the match itself. Now, Tapane. Big Papa. Drags his team over the Eels 40 metre line. Madison making the tackle with Brown. Hudson Young. That's Sutton, sorry. And Tapane again. Last tackle. Whiten, poised left. Fogarty, poised right. Dinks it through. And Gutherson in the right position. The Raiders need to get up and force an error now. 
Plenty of Eels players hanging back, hands on hips, hands on knees, over on their haunches. Look at this. Plenty of blokes having a rest. It's not great body language. Oh, Junior, is it? He never rests. Phenomenal engine, Junior Polo. Gus, for a man of his size, he just he's knocking out the work. I told you, he's got lungs like a walrus. <laughs> he sit on the bottom of the pool for 10 minutes. Lungs like a walrus. He never gets tired. Booming kick by Moses. Here's Seb Chris. Scored the opening try of uh, of the match. Now Rappina. Palmed off Brown once, twice. Runs back to the other side where Lane was waiting for him. He's all energy, isn't he? He's never been any different. If you're not 100% committed to the tackle, he'll make you Oh! Miss. That was a big shot. Now Whiten. Played to Starling. Bombs away off oh, Fogarty's right boot. Young's making a chase and he whacked Gutherson as soon as he hit the turf. Yeah, the game's in a bit of a holding pattern at the minute. Oh, another yeah. good shot. End to end. Just trying to stay in the fight, both these teams. No one wants to make a mistake right now. There's Isaiah Pabali'i. And Madison, Timoko raced out of the line. The tap on from Opacek, and that was brilliant work by Wonga Blake. Oh, he tries to keep it in, and he can't do that. Well, this, play the ball in the middle. this was brilliant work by Wonga Blake to start with to, to rein this ball in. And then Rapana, the strength to get him over the sideline. Two big athletic wingers. Well, he just hustles Rapana. Look at him out trying to lift his teammates. Every bit of him is, is energy. Everything he does is energetic. He keeps trying to inspire teammates. Doesn't matter if it's in a tackle or defence. Doesn't always get it right. Don't get me wrong, he makes mistakes. But he makes them at 100 mile an hour. Field played by Sutton, top and eight. I just feel like there's a twist in this game yet. It's kind of bubbling beneath the surface. Oh, Hudson Young. He's gone to ground quickly, and so is Penasini. Oh, this is a head clash. For Hudson. The game's just simmering along. Okay, it's, thanks, it's, something's got to give. And throw the dummy here and bang. Doink. Ooh. Just assessing these two men, Will Penasini and Hudson Young. I think they'll review this, the bunker. Will Penasini didn't look all that stable on his feet after this one. He stumbled a couple of times. They clash faces. It's going to sting. Especially when it's zero degrees. Yeah, and you're not, you're not, you're not ready for it. Doesn't mean they've got concussion. He's going to train it, mate. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. Come on, move on. Uh, Tackle four, right? Yeah, soon he's off. Yeah. I just want to bring it back, Ryan. Just 10 metres here, boys. So, Murata near Kure. 
and is going to come on and, and take his place. He's, he's done a job for them in the centres. He's done a great everywhere. job. Yeah. yeah, really good job playing out there. It was one week he went from centre to front row. Yeah, well, that's a valuable player on your roster. So last tackle here after that slight interruption and Fogarty sends it up. Timoko's there. It's uh, over the top, taken by Blake. Gee, he's done some... Oh, he knocked it on. He bobbled it into the Raiders. Yeah, he ended up with the football, Wunga Blake, but I think it's touched the Raider. In between his first contact and, and when he regathered it, you see him climb above the Raiders and just bumps a couple. Tomoko and Whitehead. Well, here's a big chance. Last time they came left with Whiten and the Eels got up really quickly and cut him down. He didn't get a pass away. Whether you'll go earlier this time to Savage. Four to the left. Yeah, Corey out there too. White and folds him behind them. Savage with all of his speed. He gets on the outside. He just can't quite get through. Had near Corre. He just had the cover coming across from Moses from the scrum. Crystal White now. White straining, trying to get through the defence. Madison stopped him. Out to Fogarty and Savage over the, to the right hand edge to Timoko. Oh, he rolled out of the tackle. Matt Timoko, look at this. How determined is that? The Raiders, uh, the Eels have, have stopped the Raiders' centre. Oh, well, it was the second and the third effort in that run. The initial collision, then kept the legs pumping, and then then pushed again. Sutton on tackle four. Goes inside the Eels 10 metre line. Lane and Marnie, the defenders now. Starling skipping out of acting half. Elliott, oh, pressure pass. Starling got it back. And he bounces up. And now Rapana. He's the last. Canberra got plenty numbers left. Away to Chris. Lots of pass out the back. Picked up by Young. Hudson Young with the kick. Hmm. Well, not much doing in that set of six, was it? Darren, down to your sideline. Yeah, good defence, Parramatta there, but the, uh, the weather, it's... Yeah, the breeze is definitely not there, but it's, it's, the temperature's starting to drop. Um, as I said before, it felt like two. Well, it does. It probably feels like minus two now, but uh, can't tempt seven. Yeah, they just, I reckon Papali not being out there at the moment, they probably lost a little bit of go forward, the, the Raiders, but yeah, big, big 15 minutes coming up. I know you Queenslanders like to stick together, but I can tell you, Darren, the Billy Slater's laughing at you in the commentary oh, box here. I'm, I'm laughing I'm, at the, the 15 weather reports. We <laughs> <laughs> <don't love> you. <laughs> can, can you feel it? We can hear it, mate. Can we can hear it. Feel it yeah. <laughs> What's the coldest that ever gets in Queensland? Um, well, it was 25 when I left today. I yeah. think we get down to about a min minimum of 14 at the moment in uh, in the middle of winter. Well, we're not in the middle of winter, but winter's about to start. Look forward to getting your application as our Canberra correspondent, Darren. Wrap it now. I think it'll be about six degrees for Origin, so... Yeah. There's a good run. Handy metres. Yeah, they need to play that. Eels containing the OK at the moment. A play or a player. Whiten with a tantaliser. He's after it himself. Gutherson's knocked it on again, I reckon. This is all play on. Oh, it was six again, Corey, and he kicked it. Now Timoko tries to get it back, and the Eels have come down with it. It was six again. Was that the front rower? Yeah. Corey Horsra. A couple of players down in back play after it. Well, they got the six again call. The call came late, though. Every footballer is born with a kicking licence. You're born with it. They give it to you when, you, when you're born. And it's up to you to lose it. I think he just lost it. They don't have much luck with six again, calls Canberra. Lane! 
No one touched him. Brown's there. Dylan Brown, he passed very early lane, but Brown's going to bounce off the tackle and score. And a big Sean Lane lurking on the edge of the field. Burst through the front line. By the time he'd gone 10 metres through the line, he looked like he was on the treadmill. He was going nowhere. And Dylan Brown, what's the effort Dylan Brown makes? Firstly, to catch up to Lane. To get there in a position to get the pass. I see D Max replay. Lane through the line. Dylan Brown will sprint, 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 sprint. Gets it too early. Bump. There's that speed again. And then darts away to score the try. My God, he's had a game today. It's all effort from Dylan Brown. Lane again, a lovely pass from Brown on the edge, straight into fresh air. And Brown just digs in, he digs in, he grits the teeth, he gets there. Lane passes a little early, that releases Savage, but bang, get out of my way. And he gets away from Starling. He's had a whale of a game. Yeah, he still had a bit to do, Dylan Brown. I heard you talking in the pregame, Gus, about Lane being a match winner. Well, there's 13 minutes to go in this one, and he may have just proved the difference. Darren Lockyer. Well, he, he, Dylan Brown also played his part in, in Lane going through. Brown was out the back, and he's been so dynamic with the football in hand. And that's why Fogarty went out and just left Lane go through because he was worried about Brown out the back. And then again, he shows his strength. Uh, the speed's, the agility's there, but the strength's been on display today. Another big kick here for Moses. Guess this one. He, Gets him out by eight. Three line breaks by himself in this game. Dylan Brown, 150-odd running metres. He's had a blinder. He's a good player. He just goes on autopilot, this boy. A couple of big goals this week and last week. Straight down the middle. Yes, time. and all the reaction to the announcement of the Origin teams on 100% footy tomorrow evening. All right, it's an eight-point game now. And Polo with the return out on the 20-metre line. Well, the Eels have hardly been up the Raiders' end of the field in this second half. Both their tries were long-range ones. And Dylan Brown playing a big hand in both. So they've, they've had to beat the Raiders from their own end of the field. The Raiders yet to convert pressure into enough points. Gutherson. He likes to take those carries late in the set. This gives Moses a bit of extra time off the back of a quick play the ball. Oh, good take. That's courageous by Chotrich. And again, one of those you've got to come forward to. Now, Emma, good crowd this afternoon down in Canberra. Incredible, Matt. 16,244. So the weather certainly hasn't scared them away. I mean, they've gone a little bit flat in the last five minutes or so, so they'll have to get a little bit louder if they're to get the Raiders home. Yeah, that can change quickly, though. Thanks, Emma. Timoko playing the ball back to Starling, who passes long to Tapane, holds the defence off, and offloads to Elliot Whitehead. And then Fogarty hoists it into the air. Look at that one wobbling around. Good take by Gutherson. Now Wonga Blake. Oh, 
Dylan Brown's uh, run for the most metres of anyone in the game here. That's the 5 8. You don't see that happen very often. I said just after half time, the team that put the priority on the defence would probably go on to win. And despite the fact they've been at their own end of the field, the Eels, they haven't leaked any tries in the second half. He's at it again. Oh, they just got him. No, oh, he's gone, gone over again. Dylan Brown, he's in the wars as well. Oh, Whiten just uh, fell off his hands backwards. It's a courageous effort, this by Brown. He's, he's uh, in some strife with that leg. It's been worrying him since before half time. And now Chotrich. We're inside the last 10, Billy. What can they do here, Camber, to crack this one open? Yeah, I think Gus was on the money a little while back. They need a play. They need to find some space for Xavier Savage. Jordan Rapiner. Be hanging around Jack Whiten. He's the creative one in this Canberra team. Well, they've just popped down into hit-ups and this fifth tackle kick into the corner. Tapene is uh, the chaser there, but Gutherson takes it safely. Their playmakers aren't combining, They're not putting enough variety into their attack. And it's really not troubling the defence. Reed Marnie with 50. Papa Lee's had a busy day. Sean Lane, no wonder he was tiring when he got into the backfield. He's had 34 tackles near Corey. It's all blue and yellow there on top. The, the effort in defence has been terrific. Here's Regan Campbell Gillard. Yes, Darren. Hey, Josh Papali, he's just stalking the sidelines. He'll, he'll, be, he'll surely come back on when Canberra get the football. So, last throw of the dice for the night uh, for the Raiders. Yep. Yeah, he's, their, he's their man, go forward man. And he's, uh, he's been brilliant again this afternoon as Savage returns it to uh, pass the 20. He's been creating a little bit of opportunity off his offload as well. So. If that offload can get to White and Fogarty and, and then find Savage or this man Rapana, that might be the recipe. When they're in their own half of the field, they're never really in a position to put play on. It's wingers in around the middle making metres, big men hitting it forward. And the Eels just get a rest in defence. Now they'll try to string something together. Savage, oh, good tackle. Nia Kore. It's because the Eels are ready for it. They've rested for five tackles waiting for that. He might have been collected high here. <laughs> On the last tackle, Savage is saying there was some high contact. Now, this might be... No. No, no way. No way. They've cleared it. It's OK. He's had a good game, the bunker. Who is it again? Matt Noyan. Happy with him. Top of the class. <laughs> Fogarty with a high ball. White and he chases everything as hard as he can, but it's a, a nice take again in the backfield by Simonson. And again, Simonson. A couple of tries for him today. Campbell Gillard. Madison, oh, oh Horsbra, <laughs> he threw himself. Rappin has got an intercept. Can't break free of the defence, but he's given his team some field position here with six and a half to play. Matt Timoko. They need a play or a player. One or the other. A good play or a good player. Come Here's on. one. Papali E got it back. Another good player. Rappin up. Rappin away. Tapani. 
Joseph Tapanay won't be able to get there. Plenty of Parramatta defenders shoving back. Fogarty, Whiten, Savage. Ball bounces on the way to Chotrich. He might go over the sideline here. Oh, he, he nearly went over. Marnie, desperate in defence. Savage is a forlorn in back play. Now Fogarty goes for a run. Back for Starling. Starling trying to skip on the outside. Can't get past Opacek. That was a good tackle. Savage is in all sorts here. Whoa. A big uh, moon ball, that one. But they eventually got it to Whiten, who's going to chip and uh, chase himself. Ball bounces. And it's off legs here. Brown will ground it in the end goal. Oh, there's players everywhere. Look at them. <laughs> it's carnage out there. And five and a half minutes to go. Jack Whiten is showing great desperation to lift his team. He inspired on a kick chase. And that inspired Corey Horsburgh to come out of the line. This is the contact on Savage. I think it was legal. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with that. Just a big hit. Simonson. And gets the ball away. And whack. Good shot. I think everyone's picked themselves up off the ground. <laughs> the left scattered everywhere. Look at him. He's been all effort, Jack White, and too, hasn't he? He's, he's chased everything, he's completed. Yes. Right, you get the feeling if they could just get one try and get on the springboard. I just got to wait for me to get someone on for me. So Savage has had to go off. Independent doctor has reviewed the contact. and For what? He never got hit in the head. Well, he stayed down. Yeah, but he never got hit in the head. Yeah, I get it. I think it was, he was clutching at a sternum, it looked like, as he was galloping off. You don't have to be concussed to stay down. And here it is. Five to go. Here's your game right here. This has been a great game of footy. And we might have a twist or two yet. Horsburgh. Tapanay to Papa Lee, who's feeling for his jaw. Oh, Billy's nearly collapsed. Penalty. You've got to kick the goal. You've got to kick the goal. Time off. Definitely. Four and a half minutes to play. First thing they've got to do is get him to stop the clock, which they have. And sometimes you're a better chance of scoring. Bang on the chin. Scoring from outside. Oh. No, you've got to kick the goal. You've got to kick the goal. That's a dumb decision. That's not thinking. Kick the goal, you're within six. You're in the game till full time. Now you've got to score twice. Fogarty, Whiten, can they score the first one? Oh, that one's off the hand of Hudson Young. It went back. They've still got it, though. Chotrich. They're going to throw everything at them. Oh, Horsburgh. And Campbell Gillard, Madison, the tacklers. Whiten for Rapana. Is there someone else on the inside to get it to? They couldn't. Wrapped up there by Madison. Now Hudson Young, a looping pass, Tapanay, Fogarty, and Whitehead. Brown's there again, he's got the ball back, Dylan Brown. I reckon he's just won in the game. Now yeah, he was trying to get a pass away, so that's no strip. And Dylan Brown had his heads up there. I still think the Raiders should have kicked the goal. A kick the goal is 28-22, six a difference. Gives you four minutes to get an equaliser. Even if they'd have scored there, they're still behind, 28-26. Campbell Gillard with a physical run. Threw everything into that. Three minutes to go. Nathan Brown. This will be the last tackle. And they'll want Moses to kick it as long as he can. All right, last chance. Rapid has gone to fullback. Now, this is uh, 
The replacement, Schiller, who has come on for the final few minutes after Savage left the field. Whiten in the dummy half. Sebastian Chris is there. Broke one tackle. Slung down by Moses. And Whiten again, he's, he has tried everything. Now Tapanay. They've used four plays. Starling, Horsburgh, Fogarty showing it. Rafner wrapping around the back. Another great tackle by Opacic. Now Fogarty. It's up in the air. Whiten's there to catch it. He can't stretch out. Well, they can't fault his effort, can oh. they? He's done everything possible, Jack Whiten. He's been phenomenal. And still they trail by eight. And the clock now becomes their enemy. You've, you've really got to think about the scoreboard and the clock, the amount of time left, and the likelihood that you can score a try, kick a goal, then come back and get a penalty to get draw or to score two tries. The odds there were to kick the penalty goal and get within six. Give yourself a Hail Mary chance. Well, you're still in the game now. You get the ball back one more set. Yeah. You had to get on the springboard. But the Eels put more value in their defence in the second half. And they've got the job done for their coach. Good stuff. Dylan Brown. Huge impact. It's a valuable two points away from home. Against a side that have been going really well. Yes, they hadn't won in Canberra in 15 years until last year. They're going to go back to back with victories down at GIO Stadium. And Chotrich with 30 seconds to go on the clock. Oh, Rappin has dropped one. And, and that's your game. Well done to the Eels. That's a tough road trip at any time. And for all their effort, there's been a a number of really good efforts from Raiders players today. They come up empty. It's going to be consecutive wins for Parramatta for the first time since round five. Good luck with Origin, Billy. I really mean that. Don't walk out without saying goodbye, Billy. Billy, say goodbye. I'm not going yet. So there it is in Sunday footy. A win for Parramatta over Canberra. 28 points to 20.